India, the USA, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Venezuela. People from this and many other countries of the world live with us side by side. They are working, starting families, growing up children and simply enjoying life in Kazakhstan. In our program Connecting Cultures, we share their stories that had occurred before they came to Kazakhstan and after they arrived here. From them, we will learn how the experience of staying in our country has changed their destinies. The Connecting Cultures program follows the life of foreigners in our country. Connecting Cultures is true stories told by representatives of many nations living and developing in Kazakhstan and for whom our country has become a home. All heroes of the Connecting Cultures program come to Kazakhstan for different reasons. Getting a good education, interesting job and ample possibilities for the personal development. But just love has led our today's hero, Christian Capone, to our country. Thanks to his feelings, he has found a second home, a wonderful family and got a stable future. Our hero was born in Rome, the capital of sunny Italy. Being curious since his childhood, Christian always wished to learn as much about the world as possible. After visiting many countries and studying different cultures, the hero of our program eventually decided to connect his destiny with Kazakhstan, as the most important period of his life started exactly here. I think that the education system in Kazakhstan is pretty good. I've been uh, in the university both as a student, because I had an MBA in QTU, and now even as educators. And from the two sides, uh, I can see that uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very convenient for the student to study, in, for example, in this university, where we have a lot of foreign people, and a lot of foreign educators, a lot of foreign pro professors that they're bringing uh, their own experience. It's a good system. Also, the, um, uh, how the, the exam are organized, uh, how there is, uh, the internship is organized, how you have to defend your thesis. It's, uh, it's pretty good. So I'm very satisfied, both as a student and now as a senior lecturer. Christian, please, can you tell us about your childhood, your family, your school time? I was born in 1971 in Rome, so the capital, and uh, my father uh, was from Rome, but my mother was from Sicily. So my father was a sailor man in the Navy, and I met in Sicily during uh, one my father's trip that he made around Italy. Uh, he met uh, a beautiful girl, which is my mother, and they, and they started to feel something, no? A bit like I did with my wife, actually, no? Actually, I was born after one year, so they met in 1970, and I was born in 1971. And uh, I have uh, two um, sisters. One is uh, one year old uh, younger than me, and the other one seven years. Basically, we, I was living in Rome for all my life. When I was a kid, uh, I was a kind, you know, this kind of kid that they study, they study too much, you know, they are always over the book, they are always the first, on the first desk, you know, in the, in the school. But not because I liked to show off, but really because I was like this, you know, I, I like to learn, I like to, 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 to learn what is around me, you know. I was uh, spending uh, uh, a lot of time also, uh, of course, with my parents, but also with my grandparents. And um, I stay especially with, uh, with my grandfather, who was an artist, uh, was uh, playing a lot of instruments, he was painting, uh, he was telling to us a lot of nice stories uh, because he, he was uh, during uh, the World War II, and so he has a lot of stories to tell us. So he have a scientific education, uh, in the high school was a, a scientific degree, and also my university, uh, which is the, the main university in Rome, La Sapienza, uh, my specialization, uh, the specialization that I took is engineering, aerospace engineering. So I have a scientific uh, education. And that's why uh, I decided to extend my scientific education with oil and gas, which is also scientific in some way. I remember my first class in engineering, the first you know, impact with the university. My class was around 450 people. 
You know the theater in the movie, right. we are something like this, no? With the desk uh, over, because otherwise the people back cannot see the teacher uh, in the front. It was a really, you know, a, a survival thing, uh, at least the first two years. The fate of parents of Christian's wife is similar to his own parents. His mother-in-law is a native of Kazakhstan, and the father-in-law was born in Uzbekistan. Thus, it makes our hero's family truly the embodiment of international friendship in Kazakhstan. The Connecting Culture program is on air for many, many years right now, and every hero that uh, are coming to our program you know, uh, has its own history of coming to Kazakhstan. What was your story? Actually, I decided to come here because of uh, a person that I met in Italy, who became my wife later. And uh, we met uh, uh, because of a program uh, that uh, there is around the world that is called Co Surfing, which is connecting people around the world. So we met because of this reason. And so something, you know, was uh, starting to, to burn inside us. And uh, we decided to, to be together, so continue like uh, a path for our life. And so, you know, the, the following step, according to Kazakh tradition, is to meet the parents somehow, you know? So before to starting a serious relationship, uh, my wife uh, and the parents invited me here in Kazakhstan. And uh, I start to, to meet uh, the Kazakh culture, you know, the, the way in which the family is uh, made and was very close. Uh, our tradition in Italy was very, very close, especially in the south part of Italy, because now we are losing a bit uh, this kind of uh, uh, family strength and relationship. I am a bit old fashioned guy, you know. I like uh, the, this way, and uh, I think we find. Uh, from the very beginning, a uh, good tuning uh, between all the members of the family. But of course, uh, uh, there was an issue because uh, my wife is uh, the only daughter, and so it was a bit problematic for the parents to leave her no? for long uh, to Italy. And so I decided uh, to quit my job, and so I moved here, and we, we start to, to live together and to, to build up uh, a path for our life together. My last uh, activity in Italy was uh, the, the direction of uh, IT sector, so information technology sector, in a company that is producing service, especially in the automotive sector, so auto vehicle car. I was in my last company for uh, six years, so you know I, I saw this company starting from the very beginning. The relationship with the, the owner of the company was very close; we were like friends. And so when I told to him, uh, he was about to cry, really. <laughs> So I said, okay, I can understand, uh, I'm happy for you. Uh, and he asked me to continue the collaboration, even abroad. Basically, I agreed. When I moved, uh, I decided and I started to work uh, remotely from here to provide services, more or less as I was doing locally, uh, to Italy, to this company, in order to, uh, to stay here for long and, and so to avoid uh, uh, the visa issue that uh, foreign has, you know, because uh, they cannot stay for the country without uh, a job or without uh, permission. No? So I decided to, to apply for MBA in uh, the specialization in oil and gas because actually uh, I was very fascinated about this uh, industry sector because in Italy we don't have this, uh, this class, you know, and here it's so strong. And I have to say that it's very interesting. I learned a lot of uh, new uh, technologies, new, new way to make business, uh, how it's important and why it's so important for you, this sector. So it was a very, very nice program, I have to say. I, I liked it very much. And, uh, and so since I was a good student, probably, <laughs> the management of TBTU, the teacher, they asked me to, to work for them. So as soon as I finished the, the program, I got the diploma, the MBA, I started to work also for PBC. I'm teaching um, operation management, project management, that actually were the, uh, the specialties that I were making in my company. No? And actually, 
I'm, I'm trying to teach to my students that I name my kids, you know, because we have a kind of close relation with them. How to behave properly in the business, how to think about the ethic, the, the moral principles, you know, and not only about uh, to make profit and to make money. You know. So this is uh, my first uh, target in my lecture. I always try to, to give an insight because it's very easy to learn about operation management in books. You know about program, about the project, about uh, operation, it's very easy. But it's more difficult to understand the, the real reason why you have to make business. You know? uh, so protect the environment, uh, take care about the community. Kazakhstan is a, is a growing up country. And um, according to me, the right way for, uh, for Kazakhstan to make business is not to destroy the environment that is around. So um, this is uh, my insight for, uh, for them and for Kazakhs. How do you see the further development of relationships between your Kazakh and Italian families? Of course, uh, if there is the, the chance, uh, I will uh, happily guide my local family in Italy because Italy is a beautiful country. We have a lot of beauties to see, a lot of uh, nice food to eat. Uh, so I think it will be something good uh, for them to see from the eye of a local, of course. I have to say, if I have to say the truth, I like more Kazakhs, you know? <laughs> so I, I'm trying to push my, my parents uh, at least to, to visit, you know, and to see how, much, uh, how many beauties we have in the country and uh, how much nice it is to live here and, and peacefully with the nature. I, I would like to, to let them come here and to, to explain to them, uh, which is uh, this uh, philosophy you know, of, of living. So to answer your question, I, I rather prefer them to move here uh, because I like to live here very much. Christian, as a true Italian, adores to cook. Traditional Italian pizza and pasta come amazingly natural to our hero. In addition, he is keen on outdoor activities, swimming and plays the piano. Christian, thank you so much for this day, it was really amazing. Um, the last question that I want to ask you is about your future plans, the plans for the nearest future and just your general perception uh, of Kazakhstan, Kazakhstani people and Kazakhstan culture. As you understand, I want to live here. So my plan for the future are here in Kazakhstan. Uh, we want to have uh, more kids. Uh, we will try to run uh, a family business. We are not sure right now what to do, but uh, we are thinking to make something uh, also related to Italy, so for example, we can produce uh, some uh, Italian cheese uh, or uh, we can have, uh, for example, uh, tourism and uh, they, can, they can see, you know, the beauty of the mountains, for example, there, the tourists, and also we, will, we can welcome them. I can cook for them, you know? This is a simple life, you know? We like simple things. And here in Kazakhstan, I think uh, our dream uh, can, can become true. And um, as I told you, Kazakhstan and Kazakh people are great, just great. So I don't miss my country at all. Uh, actually, uh, I'm becoming a part of Kazakhstan, so I feel myself more a Kazakh than Italian, you know? We really want to have our uh, life uh, in this country. So, of course, uh, Italy is a, a part of my heart, uh, but still, uh, we want to live here. We want to live here and uh, we will uh, do our best in order to have a beautiful life here in Kazakhstan. Christian Capone has overcome all the obstacles on his way to his dream. As a result, he achieved the assigned goals. Putting all of his experience into the educational system of Kazakhstan, our today's hero trains high-level professionals, each of whom 
will make his or her contribution to the development of our country.